If you like hyperboloids, and who doesn't, then you'll enjoy these two fun ways to make them. I'm using 12 lines in each direction here, 24 lines altogether. These are called the ruling lines of the hyperboloid. The first method is to laser cut some thin wooden slats with holes in them. Knowing the right spacings between the holes is crucial. You can just download my laser cutting template or I can show you how to calculate the hole spacings for any desired size and shape of hyperboloid. Then use some small nuts and bolts to connect the strips together. The slats will twist along their length as you progress. Here you go. I have to say, that's a beautiful hyperboloid. For the second method, we first make note of the distances between nearby crossing points. I laid out a pattern of triangles with these distances as the edge lengths. You can download my template and scale it to whatever size you like. Now, laser cut some paper strips of these triangles. Using two colors of cardstock, make 12 pieces for each direction. The dotted lines are fold lines. Make a gentle zigzag fold on these lines. For one of the colors, flip the paper over first. Then interleave the strips with the standard over and under weave. Some clear tape at the ends will help hold everything together. As you're working, it will want to self-disassemble, but be patient. The edges of the strips will wind up following the same path in space as the sticks, the ruling lines. Here you go. I have to say, that's a pretty nice hyperboloid too.